Hello students, now we are going through with LP2, choosing candidates. The aim of the LP2 is to judge a candidate based on the various criteria. So here student, the keywords are election speech and candidates. So the things we are going to discuss today are, are about the can choosing the candidate based on some of the qualities, right? Yesterday we are on, in LP1 we have discussed some of the qualities. But today, on based on the speech given by the candidate, we are going to select. So, what things we have to notify means, notice means, see in S2, the first question given. If a candidate, there will be many candidates who are going to participate for the election, right? So, you have to listen to the speech and uh, can he talk very well on the issues in the school? So, if any issue is there, can he able to talk on that topic? And uh, do you agree on the issues and ideas? If any issue is there, cleanliness is uh, cleanliness is not there. So how we can clean it? What uh, any idea whether he will give? So that one. And next one, look confident or and not nervous. And while giving the speech, whether the candidate is nervous or very confident, that you have to see. Okay, as now classes are not there so we are going to skip the first question okay just for an idea i have given how to uh, you have to judge the speech on what basis you can judge the speech of the candidate okay so students here you can see the voting okay in content book it has been given as in, uh, how you have to vote you are selecting a person you are returning the name and you have to uh, you, what you have to do you have to fold that pair sheet and you have to uh, put into a box right here you can see like this the voting uh, in previous years it works like this only okay now it is also you can see um, in uh, last week the elections was were there now gram panchayat same like this it has happened okay in the sheet in one sheet we have to uh, make a stamp on any one candidate and we have to fold and we have to put it into a big box okay so this is about to selecting a candidate process okay so students here you can see a candidate must be honest and um, hard working uh, dedicated to serving the people okay and um, and has not done anything bad in the past if he or she may be good candidate right if he or she anything uh, hasn't done any bad based on the character also we can decide whether he is good candidate or not okay so those who win those who win the elections those who will get the more votes become the leader right become the leader or monitor of your class and they he will represent you any problem if you are facing your monitor will represent you same like that the candidate that we are selecting for our area he will become the leader of that area and he will represent those all people example if one of the area okay uh, then he is he, be, he has become the leader means if any problems like drainage problem is there or a sewage problem is there right garbage uh, that uh, um, uh, vehicle is there now who which collects the municipality garbage it will collect if it is not coming that we can tell to him he can make that make sure that it will come regularly if water supply problem uh, electricity problem if any problems re related to that area is there a road problem is the road is not good drainage system is not good uh, then these things we can uh, tell to him on behalf of this area he can speak in the municipality right so like that the leader is or candidate is selected who will get the more votes he will become the leader okay and um, it is important to choose the right candidate okay and uh, do you know in most of the countries anyone above 18 years of age is allowed to vote right in india also if you are 
above 18 years completed your 18 years then you can vote for the country okay so sometimes people may choose a candidate based on whether the person is man or woman what happens some people what they will do they will see the whether he is a man uh, whether the candidate is man or woman whether he is rich or poor whether he is belong to a particular religion or community so based on the religion and community also people vote but that is very bad right this may be this may not be good idea because we may not know if a person is actually honest or not hard working or not uh, whether he is dedicated to serve the people or not so which qualities are important in a leader that we have to see rather than men or women rich or poor religion this, this is all we should not have to see we have to see the qualities in a leader okay we should have to judge the candidate based on his honesty hard working and whether he able to serve the people or not these all things we have to see okay so next question student if you have to choose between a uneducated but hard working person uneducated but very hard working person and an educated but incapable person he is educated but he is incapable he is not doing any work so to whom you will select of course the uneducated one because if he maybe he is uneducated but he is hard working na? that's why okay so this is some of the questions that we have discussed today now open your page number 26 s2 right today's date student question second question you have to solve student so there is a to bina and akram so you have to read this one it is about the school uniform and choose the better candidate you have to select him okay anyone as your leader so what bina is saying i am bina i feel that if there is a sc no school uniform children will spend a lot of money buying clothes to wear to school if i will be the school election i will win the school election i will make sure the children wear smart uniform okay so he she is saying that she will arrange a small uh, smart uniforms otherwise what happen all will come in your color color uh, clothes R sorry right so akram i feel that all children are different and have their own likes and dis dislikes if i win the school election i will make sure children don't wear the uniform to school so what akram is saying so children like to uh, like and dislike some of the uh, based on their uh, likes and dislikes so that we should not have to be uh, i will not arrange any school uniforms right make sure that children don't wear the school uniform he is saying so binna saying no we should wear the school uniform because we other than only school uniform will be there daily we will we can come in that or else what happened we will have to so what you students will do you will uh, buy more of more clothes right so wastage of money will be there a lot of money you have to spend in that so it is good to wear this uniform she is saying but akram saying no uh, you have this children whatever the students are there no? they want to wear some of the good clothes they like some clothes why to wear always the uniform he is telling like that so in we, your view who is correct to whom you will select as your leader that you have to write and you have to write the reason also so here we have completed LP1 and LP2. Tomorrow we will go through the LP3 and LP4.